wow, I'm encoding all this code into my memory because the definition of encoding is storing memories in your brain. Shallow processing is processing that uses only surface features and is not as involved as deep processing. This type of processing uses structural cues, such as how a word or stimulus looks or appears, and phonemic cues, like how something sounds. An example of shallow processing is studying meaningless superficial properties or rereading material, trying to memorize it. These can both lead to rapid decay. Deep processing is forming associations between new information and information already stored. This makes information more meaningful. Here's an example of deep processing a student taking a multiple choice test. are memory devices that use a pattern of words or letters to help you remember a list of things. One example is used to remember the order of the Great Lakes from west to east. Superman helps everyone, which stands for Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, Ontario. Man, I can't remember the first three presidents. Hey, have you tried Pegwoods? They help recall order than number information. Try bun, shoe, and tree. Try and relate the three presidents to those words to help you remember them. Thanks, Bob! I didn't want to speak Lauren. You did really good in the beginning and the end, but you forgot a few things in the middle. Yeah, it's usually hard to remember things in the middle. Timmy. Yeah. Did you know that lemons were never naturally grown on Earth until humans bred them? No, they're not aliens, bro. Dude, it's truth, man. You sure? Enrique, the lemons were never naturally grown on Earth no until way. people introduced them. Like, Brendan, are you serious? I really want Chick-fil-A. Oh no, it's Sunday. Hey, what's two plus two? Four. Okay, look, look, give it to me. No. When you make your B's, the circle goes on the left. When you make your D's, the circle goes on the right. Do you understand? Can you get that through your head? But if it's a capital, would it go like that? No. <laughs> God, we're not doing capitals yet, okay? I need you to learn lowercase. So, why? Look, just write B, D over and over again, just like I showed you. It's not that hard. On the right. Yeah, there you go. Yep, okay. And now D.
Procedural memory is a type of implicit long-term memory. Procedural memory is automatic and the person is not consciously aware that they are using it. it includes skills or habits that a person is used to doing. Example is writing. Okay, remember this equation. A equals P E R T. Okay. Divide E X equals K Y minus T. Okay. What would the equations you need to know for the math exam? Uh, A is equal to P times E to the RT, and DY DT is equal to K times Y minus T. You're gonna get it. When I see a toolbox, I think of my dad's job. So priming is the activation of associations or associated information in your memory. It's an unconscious process, and primed information isn't being retrieved yet, but can be retrieved easily when it's needed. Let's go through some examples. So some examples of priming are warm-ups that you have in school, and the silk milk example that Ms. Daniel showed in class. Another example is if a friend comes up to you during lunch and asks you to play hangman with them, and they give you the first two letters to start with, S and P, and you have to guess the rest. Did you guess soup? That's because I primed you into thinking of food by saying during lunch. Now they ask you to play again because they need to kill time before their shower. Did you guess soap? Same thing. And that's priming. Mmm, I'm hungry for some chicken. Let's go downstairs and get some. What was that again? Oh yeah, chicken. <laughs> got a new puppy. That's really? awesome. Yes, I know. Wait, what's wrong? No, okay? it's nothing. I just feel like I've been here before. All the puppies, I just want to be the friend. I just want to pet all the puppies on the head. I have lots of kids and puppy savings on the phone. If you have a puppy... Yo, Timmy, what happened? Oh, just yes. uh, right. Alright. Oh my god. Yo, Timmy, what happened? Dude, I don't even know. You just came out of nowhere. Blood gore. He just dude, broke his ankles, bro. No way, dude. Oh my god, I said. Dude, I think he lost an arm. Lost an arm, I think. Puppies, 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 puppies. I love puppies. Puppies. Oh, cool. A new song. Dude, did you hear about that new song? Yeah, it's not on the news. Forgetting is failing to remember a certain memory or information. This can be due to things like selective attention or decay caused by the passage of time. Okay, okay, I gotta remember the slope formula for this calc test. What is the slope formula? Did you know that everyone experiences selective attention, which is when your brain doesn't take in everything going on in the environment? What? Memory decay happens in long-term memory as time goes on and details start to fade. An example of this are childhood memories where the emotions are there but details start to fade away. Door, window, car, table, wall, trash can, colors. All right, count by twos until you get to 24. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, now try to repeat back some of the words I said to you. Colors, door, wall, and window. The serial position effect is the tendency to remember the first and last items in a list rather than the middle. Hey, Zach. Hey, big boy. Hey, Zach. I mean, Timmy.